Unajua mambo ya wasanii sio kitu wengi sana. Wasanii lazima ajipange. Hao ni miongoni na rais. Nasema mambo yeye. Yana yeye. Ah, kama jiji kule yeye. Yeye. Robo kusudi na la. Hi mambo vipi? Welcome to Kutid Podcast. Kama kawaida naitwa DJ No Shake the Valley Boy na niko na my co-host. Yes, Dennis Lele with an I. Oh, Taguan. Ukoje bro? I'm good bro. Go fit. Ndio kidogo to. Eh. Baramia. Kawaida yako tu. Kawaida yako. Kawaida yako. You come late bro. Ndeleka. Eh leo tuko na eh tuko na tuko na guest ya. Yeah yeah anaitwa Kipsang the legendary Kipsang when yeah, you in the building man, yo, wapi makofi ya Kipsang bwana <laughs> Yo bro mambo vipi Safi sana Karibu sana ndani ya Kutid podcast Thank you for having me today mm-hmm. uh-huh. Have you been man Niko sawa kabisa mm-hmm. Tunapapana na hali ilivyo Eh yeah, jawab aji tu kule Jawab tu kule Karibu sana Zid Kofiti hapa ni Kutid Podcast wanasema tuna connect tuna uh, tuna educate tuna, tuna entertain inspire. tuna inspire unajua yeah. it's all about vibes and vibes that's what it is bro mm-hmm. uh-huh. so karibu sana uh, over the week umekuwa na so many things happening yeah. man zetu uh, muona Putin akienveil uh, wakisema Uh, Black Jesus. Black Jesus. Man. <laughs> yeah. what, <laughs> what, what was your first reaction after Mona? Unajua sasa the moment Putin ame ame unveil kitu. Yeah. Unaka ukweli fulani kwa sababu watu wako belly in terms of technology. Yeah. 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 And, and in terms of history wali preserve history sana. Mm-hmm. Uh I think mini Mona theories mingi. Uh-huh. I'm quite a historian when it comes to history and I I, I watch a lot of, you know documentaries na hizo theories yeah so nimeziona mingi uh-huh. I, i wasn't really surprised when when you put in ali nini uh-huh. it was just a matter of time anyway mm-hmm. before to get a black jesus mm-hmm. <laughs> il ilikuwa noma jumili kwa noma watu wanasema eh hey, na sasa mbona wameamua unveilia huko mm-hmm. sijui wa russia kwa sababu hao watu libanga vitu mingi yetu bana so yeah. unaweza kuwa na kaukweli wanasema mm-hmm. like what are the intentions mm-hmm. kwa nini amesema saa hii mm-hmm. Uh, regardless of the intentions mm. asha sema so ni black <laughs> so, so wale watu wote wameweka ma picha za Yesu za mzungu kwa kanisa <coughs> toeni muweke black yeah actually uh, we need a black <laughs> jesus <laughs> actually i think i think i think atufai hata kuwa surprised eh. sisi basically eh. specifically as kenyans eh. jutuko na zakayo na ni black <laughs> So 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 I mean Putin is just proving us right bro. So yeah. tuko tu sawa man. Na anyway, ni sawa acha tu tukoje tu vile watu wanatupanga. Unajua at the end of the day hawa mm. sendo wanatupanganga si tuko tu hapo chini. Yeah, uh, over the over the week pia kumekuwa na barrel ya uh, brand Chira. Yeah. Like eh hey, jamaa amepata massive massive support man. Yeah. I think they are on support kama hiyo. Hata waheshimiwa wanaitanga mm. um, mchango mm. time ya campaign lakini wapatangi hiyo support. Yeah. Bro what will raise over 8 million and yeah. counting yeah. yeah bro imagine i mean i mean nani mtu tiktoker tu is no is no a celebrity like like a musician an actor mm-hmm. ni tiktoker tu ni content creator mm-hmm. imagine with that magnitude million of so alienda huko walikuwa kibao like kwa huko kuli flood wasio kwa na fight kurusha mchanga kwa kaburi it's a whole community bro it's TikTok. a whole community it's a whole community uh-huh. uh, yeah. I, i think it's it's, it's something positive mhm uh-huh. Uh, during an old time mm-hmm. ni, ni mzuri sana but now it's an old time to do it yeah you know it's 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 tragic we, we mm-hmm. lost him mm-hmm. uh, he was quite a young guy mm-hmm. he seems there eh? yeah you know he had a full life ahead of him yeah. uh, but the solidarity yenye wase wale muonyesha mm-hmm. if we could emulate that mm-hmm. wakati mtu wako hai yeah i think that could be much more significant and you know mm. and beneficiary what do you think about behind the statement that people say um you are only as in people are supported when you're gone and like when you're alive like mm. the fact that msa amenda hivyo so people say like tungesaidia mse bado akiwa alive 
but maybe we didn't. Then Amanda, we then that's the moment now we show support. What do you think? Yeah, like 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 I said, it it was a good thing, but during old old mm-hmm. time, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, binadamu ni binadamu, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you you cannot control a human being. Right? Yeah. You know, they they do things based on their feelings. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. No, no. We we especially this is more of a Kenyan thing, or maybe maybe Africa. I don't know, but yeah. uh, people. Uh, value you more when you're no longer there. Okay. People show solidarity, especially if you had an if you you have a name, mm-hmm. like you know where when you celebrity or you're doing something different yeah. from, from the rest. Yeah. People show you more value when you're no longer there. Mm-hmm. It, it's not supposed to be like that, but yeah, it is what it is. So okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. but I, I think una uh, flowers zako man when still still alive. Alive. <laughs> Yeah, but but, me, but mm. at some point na skip here Jamal kuna support you sana cuz mm. kuna time na skal kuna yeah, changia 300,000 yeah. kuna time al merino vitu ya keja unajua yeah. kuna so many people you wanna go through na, like you know like heavy heavy like things mm-hmm. lakini i want to support lakini bado anaendelea na maisha cuz yeah. unajua maisha ni kungangana so unajua mimi yani like na feel that to fight pia sana kusema tu msaya ku support you akiwa live cuz Bro unajua hata kuna watu wangapi bro wanafanya kazi lakini wajaishika 300,000 yeah. cash. True. Ali support you alichangua na Neo TikTok tu alichangua yeah. na 100k ya, ya, ya kutafuta nyumba ya kuishi. Mm. Na anunue mm. furniture na kila yeah. kitu. Yaani anze life. Yeah. Unaona? Yeah. That shows you a lot even from the 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 the, the, the mchango that was done after you know after we lost him. Yeah. It shows a lot mm. that that people loved him. Yeah. people always wanted to support him no no what will take our msaidia but unajua maisha ni maisha maisha yeah. by the you always predict maisha na yeah. maisha ni the same way man over the weekend pia tumeona John Paul ameshikwa yeah, the same guy mwenye tumekuwa tukijua jo jamaa kunyi pombe jamaa ko discipline yeah. lakini kuna tu mambo <coughs> imemwangukia ime yeah shoka Jelo, life is shoka tu imeanguka yenyewe so accidentally mm. we don't know what you know we don't know mm. <laughs> Kenya tunaambiwa is it true or you know you know that there, there, so, there are two sides of the coin yeah uh which i meet womse yani akagi mse violent yeah there are those guys you meet and you're like wa usata ongei sana yeah ni ni job farm the bit the bitter truth about your story ya job farm is and kono no so ki discuss twitter that's all kono sema do like um, Bro na zo your one decision away from prison. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Kwanza is a man. Mm-hmm. So me my analogy na kwa gam. Mm-hmm. Me, me, me I don't fight like unless in self defense. Unaona? Ile you are being attacked your your, your your life is in line so you have to defend yourself. Mm-hmm. But me waambia gam boys my boys wangu I say like uh, bro unaweza kuona fight na msena unadhani. One of the easiest thing apparently ni kuwa mtu. Mm-hmm. You can be fighting na msee ile normally unazo in fight. It's either a win ama ni win na ishe. Una get? Mm-hmm. Ka kitambo tuki watu hii mnafight na msee but akipate bahati ya kuangukia kofi moja. <laughs> <laughs> kama ile kofi ya eh, kama ile salasi. kofi ya salasa. <laughs> Unajua one thing about hiyo kofi ya salasi. Nilikuje. Hiyo kofi ya what's on kofi ya salasa. Ushaipiga kofi na msee left. Coffee yeah, I'm left. Eh eh. Joints joints. Would you pick him say coffee but coffee. Unajua kuna ile coffee unapigwa ngo mpaka mse akuona ukipigwa coffee lakini akipatana na nakuuliza. Anaona kama mgonjwa. But again, so basically bro me waambia game boys mm-hmm. as in ukijipata in a position where you, you feel like you have to fight. The worst thing when they to ni mwe ni muoga ama you are a mm-hmm. but just walk away. Kwanza when you when you are not sober do, don't fight literally. Mm-hmm. Unaweza pata una fight na mse na ako na underline condition bro una get una pigana na mse normally kidogo kidogo due to that underlying condition anaenda maze so alafu yeah. another funny thing na sahi generation ya sahi ama like hii dunia tuko sahi mm-hmm. kila mtu anatoa opinion yake bro yeah 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 na lady yeah. moyo amejirecord hapo akasema yeah, anasema kwa nini sijui jamaa anafaa fungwe mara squeeze bro kitu ina happen mm. like all the judges wako tiktok yeah, yeah. Kila mtu anapeana opinion yake ba. Yaani unajua kitambo ilikuwa tunangoja jaja amue kotini. People have uh, different opinion about even you, even me. Mm. 
kwa social media Yaani kila mtu kwa social media anakujua hata kama yeah. ajao kumiti. Hapana mtu anasema Gibsang anajifanya sana. Ama hiyo nywele ya Gibsang. Yeah, true man. Shao nosh penye anaringaga. Pia ta simpendagi, you know. Hmm. Everybody has an opinion. But trust me, we will we will get to the root cause. Trust mm-hmm. me, there will be an autopsy report na yeah. nini nini. Mm. Tutajua because hata kina 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 John Falme the wako na the side of the story. Yeah. So when we get to the court we will Mm. We, we will know. Yeah. Unajua sasa hii bado ni allegedly. Uh-huh. Si aja hukumiwa. Yeah. Ni allegedly. Yeah man. Yeah. Kuna msali kwa na joke around ndio story anasema. Ama kuna shida na na wasi huitwa jo. Imagine no inaanza na jo jay. <laughs> Joey kuna <laughs> John Falme <laughs> wanafuata jay yeah. tu bado jela, you know. <laughs> But tr- trust me, ule msia yeah. hazitoka tu na big game to Mm. That, that would yeah. be a lie. Unajua mm. mzee mzee tu hazitoka tu na anza kupiga. The 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 most painful thing about that the, his state right now is future yake mm. iko kwa hands ya mzee. Una get? Okay. Yaani the kuna mzee mmoja ata decide fate yake. Mm. That's the judge. Una get? Cuz yeah. bro liko na kai hivi na image. Huyu mzee unajua ni Jamal kona toa kalenda yake ya mwezi. Bwana. Yeah. Is one of the artist alikuwa na full month. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah December actually to first is what yeah yeah uh, Prince Inda mm-hmm. and I think uh, Grouchy mm-hmm. na Samido yeah. walikuw among the people wenye artist wenye wako na whole full mm-hmm. album bro yeah so anyway ni sawa keep sang karibu sana ndani ya kuti podcast thank you for maybe coming. kwa wale wanaosikiza keep sang for the first time ama wale watu waje kujua sana majina kamili ya idea keep sang ni gani ah uh, kwa mziki naitwa Kipsang. Mhm. Kwa ID naitwa Kibet Mutai. Mm-hmm. Ah. Hata ina Kipsang, Kibet Mutai. Eh, <laughs> so where did the name Kipsang ni? Kwa majina mbili tu. Yeah. Kibet Kibet <clears throat> Mutai. Yes. Ah, nice. Yeah, so So zina Kipsang ilitoka wapi? It's interesting. Mhm. Uh, nilipata jina Kipsang 2009 ama 10. Mhm. Wakati Kipsang alishinda marathon Chicago marathon alibaki. Oh, Wilson Kipsang. Yes. Yeah. I got the name from actually him. Where I used to work. Now that was the time nilikuwa naingia kwa kampuni yenye nilikuwa nafanya job. Mm. So msi akashinda. Now wase wengi walishindwa kuniita Kibet. Because sasa kwa ID yangu hakuna jina kizungu. Mm-hmm. So wengi wakaanza kuniita Kipsang. <laughs> yeah. And you know the funny thing kuna wakati wengi walikuwa wananiitaka Kipsiro ule wa UG. <laughs> 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 Bro, <laughs> you, know, you know there are people who are ignorant to coinje. Unajua mm. si mkale so mm. yeye yeah, yeah, tu anajua jina kikale bora ni kikale. Yeah. 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 So alianza tu kuniita Kipsang, Kipsang, mm. Kipsang. So ikashika kwa hiyo kampuni. So everybody akaniita Kipsang. Mm-hmm. So hata wale mabishte nilianza ku create from there. Mm. So wakajua kama tunaitwa Kipsang hivyo tu. Ah by the by the I, I think uh, every every tribe iko na a common name mm-hmm. of it. Wajaka wengi ukipata na nini unaita Otis yeah. ama Omosh ama Omosh ukienda kwa Wakamba ni eh yeah. um, Kamau uh, Wakamba uh, 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 wakikuyu Kamau Kamau kama, ama Mwangi kama eh yeah. yeah. kama eh yeah. kama. ukienda yeah, kwa Wakamba ni Kase but sasa Kase si Kase unajua ni mo mm. yeah. you know Mutiso ugeleweli ama yeah. Mutiso yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mutiso ama Nzioka mm. Yeah. So you took the name bro. <clears throat> so I took the name like mm-hmm. that. So it got stuck and I was like, you know what? So when I started singing, I was in a band. Mm-hmm. So when I decided to go solo, mm-hmm. So kuna mzee fulani anaitwa kwa Guido Kibukosi, ni ma producer wale wa zamani wa yeah. Sub-Sahara. Mm-hmm. Alianzisha Sub-Sahara. Mm-hmm. Yeye na bibi yake ndio alianzisha ga Sub-Sahara. Mm-hmm. What walikuwa naitwa Samawati zamani. Mm-hmm. So also alikuwa na producer gi cultural songs. <coughs> So when I started working na umze uh, so I was looking for a name. Mm-hmm. Uh, so ile tuko discuss nini akaniambia hapana. So uh, at this at this point ulikuwa na work kama wapi? Uh, Ukifanyia wase kazi. Head of production. Head of production okay. Yeah, that's why I know all these jobs. Ah nice. Yeah so um so buda tukiongea naye because u buda alikuja tukafanya naye job. Mm-hmm. Because ni sound engineer. Mhm so tukisema story ya jina so alikuwa na kejeli au wasanii wanaitwa goma yake yeye mm-hmm. <laughs> so so bejal kwa na kejeli wasi jina ni anaitwa so yeye anasema yeye ni jina gani sasa 
Hiyo ni jina gani? You know back in the day watu walikuwa naitanaga majina zao. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Kama freshly mwamburi unaona you know, hiyo ni jina ya freshly. Jina yake kwa ID. Daudi Kabaka that is a <laughs> name. Yeah. Hiyo ndio walikuwa naita. Ngineza unajua najaribu kuimagine kama ingekuwa vile sai. Sai. Sista. Michael Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Next on stage Michael Aaron. Are you ready for Michael? <laughs> so, so walikuwa napenda kukejeli hivyo. So nikawaambia I want to look for a name. He said no. That your name is just enough. Hivyo hivyo tu kipsa. Hivyo hivyo. Vile hivyo kwa. Hivyo hivyo. Keep it like that. Mm. So ni kaanza kuikeep it sasa hivi. Mm. So the first song I released ya church mm. inaitwa Waluech. Oh oh go sweat so take your go. Oh oh. Oh sabtos tetenda mnya no kitatera kitatera. Engonya ndengoni. I got keep. So when I did that first song mm. so nikaamua kwenda na jina Kipsa. Mm. So you need like your first song to record kabisa like to record no, 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 other no, songs no, that, i had other songs before mm-hmm. but that is one first song and you the same it was professionally done okay mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah. zingine ni zile zetu tu za kubatisha za studio but this one i was working with professionals like yeah. how ni wale cream de la cream wa industry yeah. like, wale ma legend mm-hmm. yeah that is the first song i i, I, I worked on mm-hmm. now so ni release your song na hiyo jina kipsa mm. Yeah, and I, I saw the song really did well so okay and i was like oh okay mm. so so you did in as a work to you yeah so you worked to to my advantage yeah yeah hey, you, your time bro you fanya back to back cuz i think you the time pia mimi nilijua nilijua kepsan cuz the first time nilijana kepsan niliona nyimbo yake ktn na niliona interview yako ktn then so ngenye nilisikiza kepsan was like kuna mkali mgani anaimba hivi vizuri ilikuwa anye ngalia top chase anye bro yo time bana umeshuta di adi beach or something yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, so that time i, I did uh, back to back couple of songs mm-hmm. so that, that was not the main sound we were doing mm-hmm. hizo ni zile mimi nilikuwa nafanya so Ah wazee unajua ni wazee walikuwa wanapenda jazz and soul okay music mm. so i did a full album yeah 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 jazz na 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 na, na, na soul mm. a full album together tukiwa wote kuna jamaa kwa aitwa team zack gido mm. uh, na wale wa jabali africa oh yeah so i i did a full album yeah 17 songs Yeah, I even performed those songs kwa kwa hotel hotel. Mm. I, I did a couple of gigs with them because yeah. now I'm a buda unajua ni my life performance unajua yeah. ni my Oh yeah, yeah. my performing artist mm-hmm. so they play jazz in in different uh, high end restaurants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So nilikuwa naenda ganao. So they have another artist uh, do their thing and then I'll come do my kale vibe. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah, so mostly these artists are jazz nilikuwa nimeimba na kikale. That is when I started singing Kale by the way. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So nilianza kufanya sasa hizo hizo jazz na 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 na, na soul music mm. like Kale which mm. they never came out. No way. Tolewa. Reason reason again ah, kuto mambo mingi. Mwenye kampuni alianza kuwa na issues anasema tunatumia studio yake ni mm-hmm. they need to be to be paid. You know the, the, there are people who are just petty. Oh so so that thing tied you on the release without uh, always, yeah najua sasa ni production tumefanya kwa kwa kampuni studio yake, yake. Mm. Uh, so like uh, <coughs> before keep song wingi kwa ukutana wa say like uh, how's life before cuz unajuanga for any musician ndio ukuja ni upatane tu wase wa noma lazima uko umetamak before like yeah, you know, yeah. immediately you umemaliza high school mm. Uli, by the way ulisoma api high school like how how, how was life after tumemaliza high school hadi ukuje ukutane na wase wa nyao unajua ku produce wa noma cuz for any musician bro ndio ukuje upata na hata studio tu peke yake yeah unako umeteseka sasa uh, now for me i'm just a village kid mm-hmm. i mean this town ni tunaenda unarudi mm-hmm. hivyo labda mzazi wako anafanya kazi nini unatembelea shule ikifungwa mm-hmm. but i'm typically a village kid mm-hmm. i mean I, i grew up in the village Mm-hmm. na tao kidogo mm-hmm. jibu dangu alikuwa anafanya kazi huko Nairobi mm-hmm. eh, Kangemi na Gashie Spring Valley. Mm. Uh, but 
mimi nimelelewa na mama yangu that's why naweza ongea lugha mm. like fully yeah. <laughs> mm. so sisi tumelelewa na mama yetu kabisa fully mm-hmm. home 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 wapi home kericho yeah, <coughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, i grew up there yeah uh, and then uh, i lost my parents okay um, so after hapo sasa you know uh, ninasoma sasa primary school now transitioning uh, nika move to nakuru sasa mm-hmm kenda form 1. Mhm. Ah uh, nikafanya form 1 paka form 4. Mm-hmm. No paka form 3 second mm-hmm. time. When you uh, sorry for that when you lost your parents will call maybe barely 13. 13. 13. Oh yeah and you're the first born. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. The In a family of five boys. F- five boys. Yeah purely boys. Kuna wasichana. Kuna wasichana ni wenye nimezaa. No mezaa wasichana ngapi? Eh? Mezaa wasichana ngapi so far bro? Tatu. Tatu. Hey. Uh, no boy pia. No niko na kijana. Oh Allah correct. Uh, uh, endelea penye ulikuwa. Yeah. So mm. uh, nikakuja na kuru paka uh, nikafanya form 1 to form 3 second term. Mhm. Nikahama Kericho tena. Okay. So I went to Kericho nikamaliza shule huko. So mimi nilimaliza nikarudi na kuru. Nikakaa sasa hapo ndio nilianza sasa ku record. Mm. Actually my my first song to record uh, na jamaa mwingine aitwa Benny Boy. <coughs> ndio record hiyo song to cure from nilikuwa form 2 mhm wale ina kuru sasa yes mm. the mali to record alikuwa anaitwa DJ Gilo mhm so to record ngoma yetu mimi nikiwa form 2 ben i think to ben alikuwa tulikuwa naye i think either form 2 ama alikuwa nyuma yangu either So we did our first song but now this is not a professional studio this is mm-hmm. a fruit loops mm-hmm. na microphone ya kanisa <laughs> sure <laughs> it was a good song anyway hoja wa ni jaribu kulingana na hiyo unaweza tuimbie song ilikuwa inaendaje so tulikuwa tunaimba hizo designs za bongo unajua mm-hmm. sasa bro hapo ndio time wewe unajifanya mswahili mbaya sana mm-hmm. tunaandika mpaka zile misamiati za kiswahili mm-hmm. na ma story <clears throat> so we did our first song there we did our second song mm-hmm. our third song we went to another studio in to FA records mm-hmm. we did another song mm-hmm. your time kwa high school bad yeah mm-hmm. so after high school when you sasa nilikuja nairobi mhm eh huko kole sasa huko ndio nikakuja sasa kutafuta tena studio tulienda hizo jomino nikaenda kalif nikaenda paka ogopa bro nikaenda still alive kwa mm. team <laughs> Ewe ni legend bwana. Yaani hakuna mahali hujakanya. I, I I I I literally I literally know all these guys when you wanna go on top like literally. Staki kusema atina ringa ama nini. Like mm-hmm. literally even hata nikitembea na wewe saa hii tukutane na nameless. Mhm. Hata siwezi ji introduce. Mhm. Ah ah. Saa hii tukatembea na wewe saa hii tukutane na Otile Brown ndio huyu. Mhm. Tukutane na Jokali ndio huyu. Utaona tu wananisalimia and they exact they know me like like Mm-hmm. Ni shai wa meet kwa hizo studio mm-hmm. back in the day. Unaona? But uh, the hustle is real bro. <laughs> it's a studio. You will go sit there the whole day. Ukingoja producer. Ngoja session. Producer hako. Oh. Unapitwa tu. So you are a nobody. I mean. That, nobody. that was then, back then. Yeah, that was back then. Mm-hmm. Na sasa yuko na dream bana unasikia so, mbona si yes. like ume, 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 ume chemuka unajua kuna ile tangu kia hata urecord ngoma yako itaitoka Yes nilienda paka Homeboys Records hapo ndio nilipatana na Freddy mm-hmm. eh, nilipata Musioka but Musioka was living i think the second time even we went there siku watu kumpata tena mm-hmm. so nikapata Freddy na Saint P Bro, your time sasa like uh, umemaliza shule like unajaribu kuingia kwa hata siko nimemaliza uh-huh. no, just oh, ume, uko bado shule yeah? Yeah. so just... side hustle ilikuwa gani your time cause <laughs> kila mtu lazima ukifanya kitu kuna kitu na side hustle Plus... sasa hapo ni mzazi tu na side hustle hakuna job nyingine hata utafanya ni ile tu pesa unatumia gaa kidogo uh, but later niliingia hizi kampuni za promotion You know that time sasa ndio zilikuwa zimetoka ndio mpya mpya sasa hizo agency. Mm-hmm. So si tuli nilianza kuonyeshwa na maboys wangu sasa wa Nairobi. Mm-hmm. How the agency works. Yeah. And now advantage uh, one of the guy who is still my friend alikuwa supervisor. 
tunaona mm-hmm. so aka to introduce kwa agency ni kwa inaitwa Swiven now <coughs> hii agency atukuenda kuuza products tulienda ku act walikuwa wanatafuta wasi wanaweza act wanaweza unda skit ya ino mm-hmm. how it works in seconds mm-hmm. <laughs> so so me and my friends we created a skit only mse bado yenye tuko tunafanya nao sasa jumi nilikuja nikaingia kwa band ya church mm-hmm. church yenye tuko tunaenda lutheran kwenye mm-hmm. mimi sasa nimelelewa budangu amelelewa mm-hmm. so nikapata na wasi huko walikuwa wanoma sana ma skit nini and even me i had the passion of skit mm-hmm. yeah. acting hizo na, mm-hmm. na, na music mm-hmm. so tukaitwa tufanye skit mm-hmm. ya yeah, ino so ilikuwa audition kulikuwa na wasi wengine walikuwa washakuja so ilikuwa audition wale Mombasa Road. Yeah, na hata si 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 tie up because that is where I made my first money. Mm-hmm. So bro, kumbe umefanya content creation wa majuni wa sai watulie. Content creation <laughs> umepiga kitambo. So tukaenda tukapiga hiyo skit. Eh. Yeah. Uh, fortunately Mdosi alibabika ra skit. Yeye alikuwa anaitwa Gwa Michelle. Mm. Ndio alikuwa bossy CEO wa hiyo mm-hmm. hiyo Swivel Marketing. Mm-hmm. So kulikuwa na wasi wa marketing nini sasa CEO hiyo time alikuwa yeye mwenyewe. Mm-hmm. Ah tukapiga skit yetu madam alifurahi. Ah akasema hata hataki kuona wase wengine. Ah imetosha tu. Mm. So tukafanya gayo skit for for how long? Two weeks. Yeah, I think we, we did it for two weeks. Juu ilikuwa inazunguka Nairobi so walikuwa naenda uh walikuwa naenda hizi estates za Nairobi. I think even ndio nilijua Nairobi by the literally. Mm. That's how I I got to Ah okay. Juu Nairobi like tulikuwa tunaenda Comarox, Kayole, nini. So tulikuwa tunaenda wanaenda na ile ile lori ya kufunguliwa ile. Yeah. So kuna MC. Mm. So MC wana pump, wanaita watu, wanaita watu inajaa ama si wenyewe ndio tuna pump. Mm-hmm. Tunakuja tunafanya tu skit funny. Katikati ya watu nini nini mtu anapiga nduru. Nini ana ameumwa na tumbo tunajifanya hasa <laughs> ameumia kwa <kumbi, ya>, <laughs> you know. So that's how i got sasa into mm. sasa into the real business at the music the real art yeah eh hapo yeah. sasa ndio nilianza kujua wase after nimeingia kwa agency sasa mm. juu sasa easy agencies the more i went to the agencies is the more i met sasa wase wamepoa ma job nini yeah. kwa job ya tasker job mm. ya sg mm. nini product gani mm. wanakuja sasa ndio wasanii mm. so, so inanipata nikiwa hapo mm. so kuna wase walikuwa na ukiact kwa lorry before kuona kwa youtube yeah. <laughs> literally hata wengine bado wananiongelesha kwa wanaambia eh buda sisi hatuko ndo naga tunachukulia kitu serious so so you you time after umaliza ku after me act umepata pata card pack in kwa sure kill yako ilikuwa bado kurudisha iende kwa mziki pesa napata kidogo actually pesa yangu mingi nilipata ilikuwa ni kama investment ya muziki ni kama hata si vitu mingi nilifanya nayo i invested back more yeah actually zile ni kula because as at back in the day you know you, you we used to pay the the, the presenters ndio wacheza ngoma yako kwa radio i remember there was a time i went to uh pala rms and uh, i waited for william tuva for four hours kwa gate mm-hmm. na nimekaa chini na gita ndio nimpe ngoma yangu kwa 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 cd <laughs> did you did you succeed though yeah i did i did okay. akachukua I'm quite patient. Mm. I mean I waited nice. for four hours. He mm. came. Aliniacha tu hapo. Kaniambia anarudi. Sisi kujua anafanya kazi au kuanzia saa saba mpaka saa 10. Oh by this session must do for hours. Kidogo tena. Like your first song kucheza kwa radio ilikuwa song gani? Ilikuwa inaitwa Tabasamu. Mm. Ilikuwa Swahili song ya iko yes, kale. Yes, no it was Swahili. Kale I nilikuja kufanya kale baadaye kwa hiyo ilikuwa nimepatana sana na mabuda. Mhm. Ah ndio aliniinsist hata kufanya kale. Mhm but nilikuwa nafanya tu swahili and english mm-hmm. so the first song ilichezwa na william tuva ni hiyo tabasamu mm-hmm. yeah that was the first song ilichezwa kwa radio and you don't know how i felt ooh yeah. hey bro <laughs> so william tuva is the one who made it possible i think he's the guy who played me for the first time on radio that's mm-hmm. what's up big shout out to william tuva man naitwa mzazi mzazi melea vipaji he's the first guy who, who played me on radio mm-hmm. Hata ni jamaa kwanza kunipea zile ma platforms zao za zile za club huko Tao mm-hmm. Tribeca mm-hmm. ku launch. Mm-hmm. Yaani ule msali ni support gani kifanya za Kiswahili? Mhm. I mean baka sasa hivi nikikutanaga na yeye ananiambiaga bro 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 bro. You need to come back. Manzi. So how how has it been bro? Imekuwa miaka ngapi kipsan? 
since you started music officially <coughs> officially it's been like maybe 14 years now damn bro 14 yeah that's a decade man when he, when he legendary 14 solid mm. so uh to say nataka tuombe the experience where your music like took a turn so there is that journey you are starting music mm. then now will come kala like the first song which made it big and changed everything then you said now this is something i'm going to do it for a decade I and think plus i mm. will not uh, say it particularly on a song yeah uh, I'll, i'll i'll say it as a journey okay uh, for me vedi limwambia nilikuwa kwa band church mm-hmm. and uh nikana hii band nilimba nao nini school nilipanda ndege yani school nilikuwa na passport na nikaambua ndio hii sasa iko na visa you don't kitu imekuwa stamp ndani hii ndio ya kupanda ndege ya kwenda tambo you know you know that was that was a turning point for me that, okay. that is when i realized oh okay so somebody can be successful na hii hii yeah like unajua bro kiota kabisa yani hata hata ukishaona hiyo kila kitu passport na nini unaanga bado ni kani uongo so for you it's a result of compounding yes uh, uh, success success is is is, is what I, I will look at mm. yeah we look at as, as as my success not mm. not not just a song mm. because bro I've, i've been privileged to perform to 8000 people how many people have performed me 8000 8k in in an auditorium a huge auditorium like like guys are shouting bro guys ile unaona chiki kwa tv na si kenya si kenya europe like 8000 jungus okay kulikuwa na blacks blacks yeah. but majority ni wazungu bro hiyo time hiyo time uko na ngoma karibu ngapi unajua ilikuwa band tuko na album mbili ama album yeah. mbili uh-huh. yeah and i was part of the lead singers mm. so we'll get to to your tours and your upcoming tour utambia wase about that eh uh, kipsang nataka utupatie the experience of the, the art of writing music you write your own songs ndio yeah i do no one does it for you yeah to be to be how how you write your songs wewe ufanya wewe ukitaka kuandika ngoma wewe ufukuza wase kama nyashinski alikuwa anasema yake andika ngoma you kuzanga watu hata sui star anazima ama nini na inspire ama nini na eh how do you end up writing a song man <laughs> most of the creatives work efficiently wakiwa peke yao yeah me i'm not like that i really write what that's what many people don't know about me mm-hmm. my producer ndio atakwambia i really write i create lyrics in my head i don't create music at home i create music in studio i create music in a car Do you know who else does that bro? Mm-hmm. Jay-Z. Jay-Z doesn't write a song. Ile ngomea God did. Mm-hmm. But but kuna watu kwa watu andikange kina second junior. Andiki. Kana Jeffsta eh? A Jeffsta ni kujua andiki. So tukisema hivyo kipchamba kwa anajua kuandika. Mhm. Oh yeah, yeah. Ako interesting. Soma. Interesting. Mm. I mean when you look at it wale wasani watu wa zamani they never went to school mm. so they I, never I, used to write anything that's a fun fact Art. actually about music someone else you know the band the beatles yeah. none of them knew how to write and read yes yeah. you know it's a talent it is in your head yeah it's a gift of arranging the words mm-hmm. an artist a, a musician ako na gift ya ku arrange maneno mm-hmm. where where does the art and the magic of rhyming comes in bro You mean me say the rhyme more, more than the reward? Mm. I think uh, that's why in a gift. Okay. Yeah. I mean, True. That's why in a kujaga kama gift. If, if if everybody if everybody knew it, I mean I everyone would have done it. So everybody could be doing it. So mm. it ain't kwa kitu exceptional. Mm. So being exceptional is that gift of doing those unique things yeah. like rhyming, you know, in a special me- melodies, mm-hmm. you know. Ojo <clears throat> kuna waimbaji na kuna muimbaji akitoa song melody yake bro is everything mm. i mean some of them might not be very good singers mm-hmm. but melody bro melody mm. ukisikia ngoma yake hivi ni viral level mm-hmm. just because akona melody safi 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 
So it's just a nut. Mm-hmm. I feel like watu wengi waje waelewe mambo ya melody na kukuwa msanii na kukuwa msanii unajua unapanga melody. Unajua kuna wasanii kuna 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 wasanii alafu kuna wasanii wanajua kupanga melody. Unasema unajua uwezi compare mbara mbamba na maybe eh msanii mwingine nani mwingine wa ah acha 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 nisitumie mambo ya kisi acha niseme for example hauwezi compare msanii tu moyo ametoa ngoma ika trend tu juu iko na maneno kachikachi na ule msanii maybe kama kipsang mwenye melody and like azinana zingatia zile magic inaitonga zile magic afi inaitonga zile video yeah, music my notes mm. Mm-hmm. You know the only way some like musicians are different. People mm-hmm. are just different. You know you can produce a song be and become viral. Mm-hmm. I don't want to mention songs but you know when a wimbo in aimbwa and it becomes famous not mm-hmm. because it is too good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No because it is catchy or maybe there is a phrase that mm-hmm. people resonate with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unaona? Na kuna mtu boss ukisikiza ngoma ngoma yake. Well like what? When, you know for me when I listen mm-hmm. to in short i need to pull up my socks yeah, yeah. so in short <laughs> kipsanga unaweza sema nyashinski na bn is your favorite artist you being yeah, an artist they are top artists give me artists. yeah give me give me give me your favorite line ya nyashinski because same to me ni ni favorite artist wangu so no shpio utatuambia favorite artist na utuambie mm. their favorite line niambie favorite line ya nyashinski ile nje ilifanyiwa cover hayawani but now you the reggae version bro yeah, for me i mean but the line is, the lines for me is just yeah. i mean yeah so una jiuliza ga like alikuwa anafikiria wajua hata si wasanii ujiuliza eh use kwa dia alikuwa anafikiria so here's the thing mm-hmm. my favorite line ya nyashinski anajita shinski Um, kuna ingoma limba na wase watatu wane each other band mm-hmm. uh-huh. uh, nini ingoma ni mesa but i know the line eh? so there's this line ana anasemaga vile vile mimi kasi so alikuwa na maanisha career yake play sako mm-hmm. na hii career yake hivyo mm-hmm. ndo ilikuwa inafaa kwenda vitu zilikuwa zinafaa kwenda hivyo mm-hmm. mazika ingekuwa hivyo basi hiyo meli ingezama Yeah. So another line I think uh, second favorite ni ile anasemaga sijai fanya kazi ofisi sijai yeah. lala kasi jadishi any <laughs> lens so, bro yes na wewe mzee mimi mi generally napenda tu harmonize konde boy kombina specific line but napenda mangoma zake yeah. <coughs> i think ni jua naimba mapenzi sana na pia mimi ni lover boy nikipenda napenda sana yani <laughs> macheki <laughs> eh hey, mzee mambo ya mapenzi kidogo sana mimi napenda harmonize genius yeah msikiza ngoma zake bro kama ni wandishi ngekoi na pia ndo gift So uh, Kipsang uh, my mom is your f- ni fan number one man nilimwambia by the way unakam kwa show ali, ali fry man kwa show atakuwa among the first people coach episode one see in drop So um there is a song ab- uliimba mm-hmm. uh, a gospel song mm-hmm. my mom upenda kuisikia sana home inaitwa Yeah so that's my favorite song of all. Yeah man it's a, it's an amazing song. Yeah. What's your favorite song Yako? My favorite song. Yeah of all your, of, your favorite song of all time since you started doing music. That's a tricky question to mm. a creative. Ni wakushika. my favorite song. My, my my favorite song is the kwa wimbo yangu inaitwa inye. But but uli uli feel too wenyewe. Yeah that's 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 one song like like I I I I I wrote it like you know. What was the inspiration behind it? The story behind it? Uh, I think my own wife I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a is a real story like you know i'm writing out of an experience mm-hmm. yeah. yeah it's a love song yeah oh, okay yeah nice eh uh, na keep saying after kuna time after umefanya hizo ma any ngalia type chase so either my gospel mm. kuna time keep saying akanyamaza hivi like 
I'm very sure saying alikuwa anajiuliza Kipsang ali alienda wapi at that time cuz mm. unajua kuna kama mtu anakufuatilia sana mtu anaweza notice eh na amenyamaza sana you know like, yeah, yeah, like nini liko na happen kwa hiyo face ye yo face ya life yako uh, you know music is just a very tricky business i mean uh, kama hujaelewa sana inaweza ku drain okay so after that period now i went back to you know kufanya kazi now you know full time mm-hmm because unajua unafanya kitu una invest unaenda unafanya video unalipa audio and then at the end of the day it doesn't bring in money mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, you have mouths to feed you know you have siblings kuna you know i'm now starting my own family so that time nilijipea break sasa ya, ya kuwa kumoa in the band mm-hmm. uh, na kufanya nao my my personal you know to grow now personal on a career path yeah no no mi mi ni mtu sipendi ofisi by the way mm-hmm. you know that's, that's a funny thing I so they fanya kazi ofisi nimefanya kazi ofisi okay. mimi sipendi ofisi mm-hmm. ilikuwa naifanya juna lipo mshahara okay mm-hmm. uh, dosi mwenye kwa mimi niandike si si omba sifa ndo wetu eh eh yeah so that time nilienda kufanya sasa kazi tu ya kulipo you know yeah. you know life has to go on man yeah. life lazima watoto wakule mm Asma tu lazima ni kule mimi mwenyewe. Mm-hmm. Asma na Robbie ulipo rent. True true. Wewe zipo nyumba ya free. Yeah. So I went back working and then uh, I was still recording. Mm-hmm. Now that time nilikuwa nataka kuingia mainstream media doing now pop sound. Mm-hmm. Uh, because mimi nikianza muziki I wasn't really a gospel artist the way mm-hmm. people perceived it to be. Mm-hmm ata wimbo sound ile record ya kwanza zenye niliwaambia zilikuwa love song zilikuwa so gospel is is something natural to me because i grew up in christian, yeah, christian, in a christian family. family not just a christian family mm. my father was a pastor what mm. you know mm. <laughs> yeah, so mama yangu alikuwa bibi ya pastor <laughs> alikuwa <laughs> wewe ni mtoto ya pastor wa yeah. walikuwa waimbaji wa choir so so that comes automatically because now i grew up in church and, mm-hmm. and, and i went to church choir nini you know that system mutaratara ya kanisa so that is automatically for me so that time i was transitioning mhm ilikuwa nataka ku transition so i i see kutaka kukuja kwa mainstream bila a certain system because i had already worked to myself igona igitu ni ngumu so i was looking for someone i can work with and that is when sasa nikakutana na jamaa anaitwa David Goro mhm wa Hail Mind mhm yeah, entertainment so ndio tukaanza sasa naye tukaanza hiyo Hail Mind we started now packaging the songs i had already done we started doing the videos even that is how now why mhm nikakuja sasa mainstream yeah mainstream so tukatoa ngoma ya kwanza inaitwa inaitwa you mm-hmm. you make my heart go you make my heart go so tukatoa hiyo the second song tulitoa ni one let's talk about us mm-hmm. let's talk about you let's talk about you 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 let's talk about us hapo ndio nilikutana na ihaji mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that is how we became friends mm-hmm. Yeah so that was 2016 I mm-hmm. think so. Um uh, Ihaji nilikuwa ni mwae meet akiwa kwa RK zamani. Mhm. But sasa hapo ndio nilianza kufanya sasa kazi na ye. Mm-hmm. officially. Mm-hmm. So that was the first song I did na Ihaji. Mm-hmm. So yeah tukagrow. So so how's the reception like what walikuwa naipokea aje time after umeingia yeah, mainstream umetoa ngoma za Kiswahili. Ground ile ile nasema aje ile yani una compare ground na vile It was good. Mm-hmm. Trust me, I mean for me it was it was the reception was very good. Tulifanya kazi, ni venye tu sasa tulikuja tukapitana na jamaa, you know, mm-hmm. biashara haikuingiana. Mm-hmm. But we did well. Uh, if you ask me, if you look at where Nadia is, it's the same guy. Mm-hmm. We spotted her ngoma kuna ngoma alikuwa amerekodiwa na Haji mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. you know aka 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 kaona wote interested 
So hiyo guru alif- after me nimetoka huko aliendelea kufanya kazi na Nadia. Mm-hmm. So you look at where Nadia is and you know you can tell. Yeah. You know there, there was something. Mm. Yeah, but I think he had is one of the best producers, eh? Yeah, he is. He's a genius, man. He's mm-hmm. done actually most of Oti LeBron's music. No, mm. I think he has done so much. Hata Nameless. Mm. Nameless are record iki kingine. Ah, kwa Ihadi. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ihadi me transition it's... from RK since he RK, he had to kona fanya na RK aka transition mm. to kwa Ihadi. Mm. And ngoma zingine za Kinkaka, vijana vijana barubaru. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Alfajiri. Yeah. Mm. What does it take bro to a producer? What's the magic behind it? You I don't know. Magic is just talent. Being a producer but on talent. Apia na ku learn some few skills from maybe other producers. Yes. So ni kwa na maskio mzuri. I mean, producer ni maskio. If you have a you know maskio yenye inaweza skiza muziki na bisect muziki like like in, into the technical part not when you see tunaisikiza. Yeah, mm. yeah. You know You know a producer will listen to a song he anaskia anaskia snare venye ime compressiwa anaskia venye yo bass ime ime compressiwa venye ime ikiwiwa yeah vitu zenye producer unajua anaskia si kenye mimi nasikia yeah mimi nitasikiza vocals venye huyu ameiba yeah yeah sasa anaskia venye ule mwenye ali produce hiyo song ali produce no na that is why they'll tell you he song iko properly produced or poorly produced is it right to say a producer and a doer hit song yes they know them they know even when they produce wao wenyewe eh watakwambia ita 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 zipo kuambia utaona energy yenye anaweka eh yeah. utaju ah yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. utaona energy yenye anaweka mm. but do you feel kuna ma producer msanii akikuja tu aimbe viti yake <laughs> anajua huyu aende mbali lakini atamproduce tu apate pesa yake kwa <laughs> kweli <laughs> eh oh, okay see this Oh, I don't have bro and urudi na do. Eh? But now eh uh, 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 una una jodi na ako itawekwa hapo like nani produced it. Oh, Alafu idza. Kakagi eh? bro. Mm. Oh, ikangi. Kakagi hizo. Una zingine nani wengi by the squeeze yo. I feel like hata kuna watu wanarudia beat. Wanarudia beat ya jamaa mwingine. Wewe Jokino. Jokino kiwe uno. Kakagi. Kuna nini? Hata anaweza lala kirekord. Baze kuna studio kuna studio ile trip ya Orezo pale Bome pale Bome si waliando hiyo studio kodi na kata hizo wameingiza hapo wameingiza hapo Orezo bana na rigashagwa nilicheka I hope walipata value for that I really hope what are renovate and I I hope walipata by the kama uja ma tukirudi sasa hivi na tupate the same. Bado nikate. Hapa kiboko. Tupate hiyo hiyo kata. Ana angetuma opportunity ambie you know number one. Unajua hii place kusema ukweli tunahitaji bwana kitu kama ina soundproof kidogo kila kitu ikuwe sawa nini otherwise. Ai. Lakini ukipata unapata iko the same. Atakuwa amechoma bwana. Yeah yeah yeah. Ona from origin. Do you think we have a a good producer who can do a good job ama do you think to kona because now at fake from where we come from our region not saying you give because you come from that region uh-huh. we have artists who are so good and uh, most of them produ- produce this aside uh-huh. but atuna uh, a good known producer more than radio nani western's production mm-hmm. what do you th- how do you think what do you think about the producers from our region i think based on the sound and, mm-hmm. and the audience mm-hmm wako sawa okay now i don't know in which perspective you're asking you asking in terms of kukuja mainstream mm. am i just yeah sure? yeah 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 man jo sidani tuko na a big producer kama i had him when he or something something of the sort mm. do you think that's a talent uh, most of our guys from uh, people from our community wanna for tap to yeah uh, it's, a, it's an unta- untapped market it is an untapped market for us yeah but now it is a saturated market when you when when you're in the mainstream oh, okay. you know you unajua sasa hii hata ukikuja haji yako hazi enda mahali so nikamtu amejua nishi yake kwa Vicky Pondis will be there yeah you know um yani kuna ma producer kuna kina Sav kuna kina mm-hmm. TDB you know they already there yeah they already doing the thing <clears throat> i think for me if you ask me um, i'll say if we can produce what we are producing mm. on a different scale okay yeah mainstream mm-hmm. 
that one could be a very nice selling point yeah. Yeah. Yani, ii tu, ii tu. Mm. but to sasa to package sasa level ya kinaihaji ah, nice. in terms of 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 of, of production mm. like mixing the mastering mm. mm-hmm. you know now on a on a larger scale nice that one they can have a chance okay to pay your best uh, top three best producers kwa kale yeah mm. weso mm-hmm. weso ndo wesans mm. eh, okay weso mm-hmm. tuwe mm-hmm. dj da mm-hmm. nje tuweke pilipili kwa mbali kula hata <laughs> kuna mwingine pia na kuna... <laughs> 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 then then they know eh uh-huh. ah oh, they know do it mm. Na yeah. upcoming una, una producer upcoming umemsikia of late ukasema ai huyu jamaa si mbaya ukipesa 100 hata Matrix Empire mm-hmm. Ah nice uh, that guy is quite good something mm-hmm. nice is quite good I mm-hmm. mean in the next maybe probably two years mm-hmm. uh, I think atapewa majama mengine run for their money mm-hmm. ah, so, 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 there's a song shiny pen kasikia kwa simu yako mm-hmm. I don't know if you put it there out there Megan you did a uh, ikona a luo tone ah ama ni album nimechoma ikona hiyo ni album unachoma mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> before the, before tuende mambo ya album <laughs> bro after umefanya hiyo ume, umefanya kina yu na kina yaji mm-hmm. bro kama kuna kitu ilikuleta <clears throat> back to the game mm-hmm. koririo yeah. but tuombe the magic behind koririo bro sababu hiyo kitu ilikuja tu na ikablow na sasa from hapo mm-hmm. ni kama ni, ni kama iliku ili rebrand honestly yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, he gave me a different perspective ya music na mm. na identity mm. na audience okay i mean ikifanya kina talk about us nini si kwa na audience kubwa ya nyumbani mm-hmm. i was floating up aju mm-hmm. no na so after hiyo i think sasa ndio nilipata ile solid audience ya home now the magic about the song is 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 i i, I went on another errand to bomet uh so we so was in the middle of that era so when that era taiko faulu so he was of the opinion menyo na ba meta ganya giweke ko mbaga cha what you know kiendo mm-hmm. studio nyo so we decided to try it was just a trial and error there was nothing at the serious for me mm-hmm. in as much as nikona mabishi walikuwa me ni push ni jaribu in a long time mm-hmm. jaribu bwana kwani what do you lose you know that that uh, how do i put it like that uh, urbanism mhm ndio ilikuwa imetuingia kwa kichwa sana unaona asa niende ni mbeke kale sasa tujo arwa ya dio ya you know I, i still see people st- they struggle with it kwa 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 social media even uh-huh. in real life you know? uh-huh. uh, i happen to have met someone who wa matatu and she was like you know i i am quite disappointed you're sitting in a matatu with me uh-huh. you know Uh, you know that is a uh, uh, somebody who is uh, confused <laughs> so so mimi hiyo hiyo si kwa na fikiria ati naweza fanya song kama hiyo hit sasa tafanya ali so we so tukarudi na yes tulirecord hiyo song saa 9 asubuhi tulienda kunywa chai na tukarudi studio we so akaanza kuunda beats na tukarecord to get a code for in the morning. Kwenye nilimaliza kufanya tu hiyo part. Akapigia watoto, akasema mm-hmm. atakuja sikia. Anikuja that morning. Akikuja. So like idea inaweza kuwa ilikuwa ya wewe so ya kwamba unahitaji kufanya song. Yes. Alafu unahitaji kuweka sweet zitakuwa hii song. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh he's the one who suggested sister. Kila kitu yeye ndio yeye ndio aliproduce kila kitu yeah. from from paka idea kuweka hii ni yeye kila kitu. Mm-hmm. Sister akuja the next day. Yeah, akakuja akaisikiza akaipenda akaniambia ataweka akafanya mambo yake afanya mambo yake and that is how we produce that song there is no <laughs> any nini at the there was a bureaucracy about it no there was no bureaucracy mm-hmm. na uh, the, the 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 idea ya video nani alikama up nayo cause tulikuwa tumezoea ma video za ina wakale wanafanyia miguu lakini <laughs> kuri kuja na vibe nyingine old school kidogo by scale tunaona afro yeah. yani tuka appreciate hadi kale mzee tukasema eh kumbe kale inaweza kuwa hivi safi nani alikuja na idea nani alifanya hiyo script mimi ndio najifanyaga script zangu oh, okay. like literally when you see my video i am 
I am quite the brains behind inside that video like mm, okay. literally kila mm. kitu yenyewe tunafanya so napenda old school hata mimi mwenyewe nikivaa napenda kuvaa vitu old school mm. <laughs> ni kweli sababu <laughs> kuna nilikuwa 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 Milo shirt jana na Jafi tukaona tukaona shirt fulani Jafi akasema jawa bage msangi Yaani kuna vile mtu anajua ile 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 Uh, like when they say ma I, i am quite a historian and i like you yeah. know, doing things and mm. based on history and what people have done before i want to experiment on myself so nikaamua i want to do something old school mm-hmm. that's what's up now keep saying uh tumongale your music journey your biography uh you have an upcoming tour yes i do, do you mind uh, telling us about it do i say <laughs> something man <laughs> so there is an up- upcoming tour for australia mm-hmm. uh, next month yeah yeah in anza tare 12 yeah um yeah so there there, there are five states anza na path mm-hmm. and then i think i'll go to i don't know kamani and then i dama ni sydney sydney yeah has to be one between the two and then okay. there will be brisbane and mm-hmm. then Melbourne will mm-hmm. be the last oh, one. Nice. Mm. Yes. Yeah, is is this your first uh tour outside the country? I'll come up again. It I'll come up again na na band. Oh yeah, band. Nasema you as a pa- as a person. Yes. 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 Oh yes. yeah. Personally. Ah, okay. Mimi mwenyewe yes. Mm. Eh. Uh, yeah, I mean. I what, what 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 nini man? Like from expectation here. Kuna mtu aje not iko sai lakini akisikia mane na kipsang ngo very sure kwamba atakimbia pale ya alichukua hiyo tiko electrifying performance yeah. a good time mm-hmm. you know i'm just a ambassador of good times that's mm-hmm. what's up and love language wow ladies <laughs> yeah. so get your person that's what's yeah. up get your ticket with your person mm-hmm. and then i'll come and give you the nice words za kusema for that night that's mm-hmm. what's up and uh, trust me ukishindwa the rest mhm uweze saidika you are the problem yes you are the problem <laughs> <laughs> all the best bro all the best yeah. ita 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 jana jo kwanza watu wa path <clears throat> path eldoret ya australia yes. mambo itachemka capital city aish mm. out of kenya aish <laughs> <laughs> bro like um, uh, what's your what's your opinion uh, about like the current state of kale music sai unajua wewe we already wewe ni legendary mm. kuna vitu umeona umekuwa kwa industry for so long like ni, nini like ime change ama nini tunafaa kufanya wewe kama 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 legend uh, for me there's been a very huge paradigm shift in terms of production mm-hmm. guys are actually investing on nice videos now uh, the current new generation of videographers wako wako top notch of course there is room for 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 for, for learning and, and expanding in terms of ideas mm-hmm. but uh, basically i can say it's a growing industry mm-hmm. if it gets the support that that is needed mm-hmm. Uh, I think it has potential kubwa sana to create a lot of employment for the youth. You know, because I can see young people who are hungry. They want to pursue this as as a career. They are very passionate and you know they know what they are doing. They are doing amazing lyrics, not vulgar lyrics. Uh th- there has been a new sound. Pia kwa wasani wenye wanakuja nini unajua Every day there is a new sound kwa TikTok. Mm-hmm. You know, every day you will go to TikTok and out ask you say, oh, "Wow." Mm-hmm. Okay. Huyu nani anaitwa nani? Mm-hmm. You know, you'll do a research. Mm-hmm. So, I think where we going is is is, is bright. Mm-hmm. But I think it needs a lot of support in terms of knowledge, in terms of business. So, 
the right stakeholders wale watu wako na pesa wale watu wanaka wanaka kwa pesa mm-hmm. tafadhali mm-hmm. it's high time we we invest on our youth mm-hmm. we invest on our art mm-hmm. tusisemage tu nigeria tanzania mm-hmm. sijui kina nani utile brown mm-hmm. we can create our own mm-hmm. diamond mm-hmm. ya wakale if, mm-hmm. if 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 kina prince inda i've done it yeah so we can who, do who are we mm-hmm. Yep. I mean these guys are going international man. These guys are just doing <laughs> serious shows. Msa anaenda Kakamega na Jaza Stadium. Na anaimba kijaluo. Mm. Jamaa anaenda Mombasa na Jaza Stadium. No, you you don't tell me atao nyana jaga Mombasa ni wajaluo. Mm, true. No. Hawa nyana jana Nairobi si wajaluo. Ni kweli kabisa. So it is because anafanya muziki mzuri na amesupportiwa na watu wake. So he has a base. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No na. It's high time also for people to treat music as a career. Mhm ndeza business. Sio shida ukiuliza mtu atunafanya kazi gani nyingine? Hiyo ni kazi. Kwani hiyo kazi nafanya kwani unaona si kazi. Unaona nafanya jokes. Bro talking about um, investors unajua like vile umesema in other places unapata kuna watu wako na pesa wana wana invest kwa wasanii. Yeah. Uh, in Kale industry <coughs> sijui watu wengi wame invest kwa like wasanii but I know najua mtu kama anaitwa Alpha Mover sana amejaribu 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 ya na na support wasanii like uh, ungependa kuambia nini wale wasio kona unajua kuna watu wana extra money kwa bank yeah. yani badala ya kwenda kushikilia tu jamaa fulani hata kama ni kusign like mm. sign mtu mjaribu yeah. hata 3 years na yeye mm. sema kwamba hivi na hivi na hivi ikiwork out sawa is work out to tie contract akoje unaweza ambia jio investors ongea na investors Uh, for me I'll say music is a business. When you put down structures nicely mm-hmm. and you get the information, it's a business like any other business. Ukipata <coughs> watu uh, you rather even get a consultancy company mm-hmm. when you want to find entertainment mm-hmm. to do a business uh, plan for you. Business is a very lucrative investment if you only get the right product to package so to the investors hiyo pesa uko nayo hiyo extra na unataka ku invest mm-hmm. invest in the music music is, a, is 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 just it's just like any uh, ni kama kujenga nyumba na kuuza mm-hmm. just get the right information about it get somebody to give you a business plan about it see where you you will sell the product and see if if they can advise you in terms of how you can make money but trust me there is a lot of money kwa kwa kwa, kwa music industry mm-hmm. a lot of money i mean entertainment industry ya kenya peke yake wanasema it's capable of of generating <coughs> 1.5 billion to 2 billion per year yes mm. then direct revenue problem ile tuko nayo tu ni systems mm-hmm. System siko kwa kitabu. Mhm. Aziko kwa action. Mhm. Hazira <laughs> niki kwa action. Mm-hmm. So to the investors who are good it usiogope invest. Mm-hmm. You know, get somebody who has the gift. Mm-hmm. Put in money. Mm-hmm. And uz- unajua uzuri ya hii is banga music. Mhm. Haitaji budget mingi. True manze ni I mean, production audio video. Yeah, hii yetu kwani uwezo unamlipa pesa ngapi si mm-hmm. kama kina utile brand those guys are investing real money mm-hmm. those guys are putting in like 2000 dollars 3000 dollars on a video mm-hmm. they, they are doing almost 500 dollars per audio yeah mjeka mm-hmm. marketing hii yetu mm-hmm. hata hiyo hata iwezi ja hata hiyo 500 dollars mm-hmm. peke yake mm-hmm. kwa audio na video mm-hmm. so let's say if somebody is even serious who can invest nicely aseme I am going to invest let's say $500 on production yeah, yeah the, the the content itself. Yeah. I am going to put out another maybe $700 kwa kina Nosh, kina MC Jaffe, kina Probox for influencing. Yeah. Unaona, yeah. you need to look at it that way. Yeah. So ngoma ikienda kutoka anakuwa game tapping into all the streaming sites yeah. where you make money. No, no. You see when you create a label it's easy to walk into Boomplay mm-hmm. and you strike a deal with them. Mm-hmm. It's very easy. It's 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 so difficult for me kama kibsan kwenda yeah. to Boomplay. Mhm. Ama kwenda yani kwa approach any company. Ama eh hey, ama kwa approach to company ama kama kama Spotify. Hapa tuache tuata hizo kampuni za kuuza muziki. You mm-hmm. see when you approach them as a business 
they are going to give you priority and they are going to put in money also to push. Oh, okay. That is what people don't know. Mm-hmm. And that is why our music is quite stagnant, mm-hmm. bro. Kwa sababu unajua wale wase uchukulia kampuni serious than just an individual. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why Diamond see Diamond. Diamond ni wasafi. Mm-hmm. Yeye work na kampuni. Mm-hmm. Afaje peke yake? Mm-hmm. You know, hata 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 harmonize ha kutoka huko. Harmonize angatoka huko angeanza konde. Gangsi angekuja oh, toki yeah. ita tu harmonize. Mm-hmm. These guys they want the studio cannot go to a boardroom. Mm-hmm. As a person. Naji na we mwenye ati as a person. Mm. And, and I think in Kalenjin music atuna labels like. Atuna labels. Like labels enye kabisa. Enye mtu leo hata anafanya bidia kijua. Wa, nikisainio kwa hii label. Yeah. Nimepona. I think we have a potential. If mm. we can have just someone who can look at it positively. Na egele tu milioni zake kama mbili. Mm-hmm. Ita work. Trust me. Hata hezi maliza two years. Mm-hmm. Tukudisha yodo yake. What's up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for the investors yeah. do, don't be scared it's just an investment I mean if you if you're not scared to invest in kwa 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 shares or you know or, or FX or nini mm-hmm. I mean why are you scared to invest in what to invest kwa mziki ya nyumbani because people people are buying music people are streaming music mm-hmm. people are watching songs songs are being played in these all these clubs in Nairobi mm-hmm. you know there is a college night up kuna mm. college night up kuna watu wa australia huko watu wa australia kuna watu wa us yes. gulf kuna watu wa gulf you know if you take an artist to an embassy and he's coming from a record level mm-hmm. it's easy yeah hata kwenda tu hata kwenda tu ni rahisi kwa sababu mm-hmm. now this is a legit company mm-hmm. wewe umeandikwa wewe uko job so uweze kwa ma america lazima urudi mm-hmm. umalize contract true no na utaepa na uko na contract ya 20 million ya wenyewe hauwezi <laughs> lipe aje mm. keep sang eh uh, muongelea hapo like uh, new sound upcoming na my investors ebu tuambie like your top 3 upcoming musicians wenye bros of late umekuwa ukipitia tiktok huko ama umekuwa tu ukipita mambo yako ukasema wa hao tu watatu wako sawa top 3 mm, upcoming top 3 upcoming artists mm. uh, Tsunami. Shiviki. Mm-hmm. Um, Elvis. Sa- yeah, Elvis. Elvis. Ule jamani Elvis yeah. Arts. So. Uh, Elvis. Uh-huh. Uh, I think for me those ones will be the top three mm. in that hierarchy. Ah yeah, okay. the best top five Kalenji musicians overall. Top five. Top five. Mm. Badoda. Mm-hmm. Sweet star. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sagan Junior. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Tafako jitaja. Eh, yeah. ungejianzia alikuwa na ngoja useme kipsang ba. Is it kwazi hata hivyo vipi? I I do appreciate people uh-huh. okay. with what they do. Um Bado bado wili. Bado wili. Mhm. Kilel. Mhm. Uh, who else? tangawa na pigana ana 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 bitoya methods as ingine mhm ni samkista me apparently my best upcoming i think kuna kijana anaitwa yoyo zing unajua kijana eh yoyo zing yoyo zing mhm zing is king alafu kuna sound flani na kanga ya msi flani alafu nadia tu eh mazi so he's good for him i think he's is actually caged somewhere mm-hmm. he's, he's just stagnant mm-hmm. oh, okay mm-hmm. he's not growing he's not going down mm-hmm. how long has he been on the game ah, he's been there uh, yeah. i think too I'm long but i but uh umongelea yako ni yoyo zing mimi think hapo kwa upcoming nitacheza na hiyo kama keep sang hapo na kuna 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 some guy pia wenye wameanza ku awembi tu pia kale wanajaribu ku Mm. kuongeza yeah. ku blend some yeah. swahili words kwa that's why you ngome uja ma post not it uh, watajuaje mimi nipo yeah. nisipo post 
kile mtu alikuwa anaimba niliona hadi kina nani wali post kina Sialo kwa TikTok kina Terence kina Terence ah, okay. yani cuz si pure kale yani wali, like one man no, I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. But the stuff is the song itself I mean. so unapata ngoma zetu zinaanza kuingia everywhere yeah. so, wasee wafanye tu at pure kale yeah. unaona unaenda unaenda club ya Kisumu kupata wanacheza hiyo ngoma mm. that's why unasikia kina Prince Inda wako kila mahali kwa asiye kupenda wacha eh hey, uta umeongeza Kiswahili but accent inaweza kuwa bado ni yao lakini bado you get so huyu jamaa anafanya kazi safi pia mimi naweza sema ni upcoming yeah keep saying you have a very unique sound eh kuna mm-hmm. unique sound flani when singing is uh, a love songs na there's someone close to you and attack on him an honest opinion on what you, what do what, what you think about him mhm unajua msana anaitwa dokicha Yes I do. Yeah what do you think? Ju ana imba almost close na but kuna shida mahali hapo tu your sound your sound yeah. you almost close. And I go to honest. Yeah he's one of my <laughs> favorite podcast. <laughs> yeah he's one of my favorite. He's one of my favorite peer mm. artist and yeah, boys wangu so what do you think? Kuna msale kwa meka comparison between mimi na yeye. Oh yeah 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 anaitwa nani huyo msale kona kona pia kona podcast ama a solo podcast ama ndo nani anaitwa anajita sana. Just came across nilikuwa naona anaitwa Javier alikuwa ame post so he came immediately after Kubo is the right one Jaffe Now uh, nimejua Dokiche for, for a long time mm. I think nilimjua bado akiwa high school if I'm not wrong mm. I'm from okay. Kericho so yeah. Nilikuwa naenda kwa Gemeto hata mimi mm. So at some point hata Dokiche alikuwa anataka kuwa backup artist wangu Okay Yeah I think he alikuwa amemaliza shule Dokiche is a very good artist Mhm Now being a good artist is just another thing. And could you work as an art as as as, as another uh, as an artist is another thing. Mm-hmm. Now Dokite ajajiweka kama msani. Mm. Unaona? Does he have a plan? I don't know. If he has a plan for for his product, I don't know if he has a plan for his music. If anaweza kuwa serious ajue Kenya anataka. Mhm. Eh? Mhm. Tungekuwa na yeye tu hapa. Mhm. That's nice. Tungekuwa na yeye hapa juu. Ni ngoma zake ni kali kali. Kuna ile zuji closer. Eh, closer. Hello yeah. hello EV. Na kuna very good sound. Kipendi kwa itano. Eh. Mhm. Eh, he has another friend who has a very nice voice as well, Charlton. Mm. Oh yeah. Charlton has an amazing voice. I mean, I think he's Charlton who imbaga? Okay, na imba oh, na content. Uh, now, Charlton is everywhere. Mm-hmm. Now he doesn't know what he wants to sell. Mm-hmm. You know, you get into a market now, uko na nyanya, uko na vitungu, uko na nini? Sasa ujui utasha utunauza nini? Uko na nyanya na sabuni. Eh, so ujui utauza nini? So he needs to figure out exactly what he needs to do. This is what this young musicians don't know mm. you need to identify what you're selling mm. nona uweze uza paraffin uze unga uze nini na umechanganya zote exactly you know you cannot mm. so you need to identify one thing that is why when you rudi kufanya hizo za kikale ili concentrate kufanya hizo niliachana na za Kiswahili okay it's not see at ni tashindwa kufanya mm-hmm. but If I start doing Swahili today I'll be just like Ruti Lebron we will do just the same thing mm-hmm. on the same scale same mm-hmm. level mm-hmm. but music was very selfish mm. you need to identify exactly what you're selling because people need to know you na hiyo product mm-hmm. nice identity your identity okay ukweli umefanya nikakumbuka the same thing kwa na Tanzania ilifika time flani watu wakaambia Rayvanny Si Rayvanny tulikuwa tunasikia. Yeah. Kwa zote walikuwa wamemzoea na mapenzi. Mm. Na yeye mwenyewe hadi ni kama ka notice yenyewe mm. sound yangu ni more of mini mtu ah. Yes. Mapenzi mapenzi vibe nini ni. Ndio kwenda kwa club. Mm. Mm. Ile si strength yake. You see these things kama ni club unaenda moja unarudi. Mm. Mm. You stick to your lane. Ile tu wasa wanasikia. Oh, unajua nani pia alijaribu kupiga ngoma ina kaa hivi. Mm. Mm. Pia niliona anaweza mm. but see you get stuck there. Okay. Yeah. That is not your strength. So mm-hmm. for 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 Dokiche he needs to 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 understand if he wants to do music as mm-hmm. as a business. Okay. For him I don't think anachukulia wanataka kufanya muziki kibiashara. And also you need to associate with people who will push your okay. push your brand. 
wenye watakusukumia hiyo brand yako mm. you see unajua unaweza kana watu pia wanakufurahisha tu ama ukae na watu wa sherehe ama ukae na watu wa sherehe na ukumbushi unafaa uende recording uende recording bro hata wajali tunaongelea sound yenu hapo hivi yani kidogo kuna mtu aliniambia kuna any possibility yake sang kufanya collab na mtu kama Nikita Kiring hivi anytime soon ama tunajaribu kurudi sasa hivi mm. ndengine kidogo mm-hmm. pia tu to fresh it up when you got to me acha mhm there are good things coming okay you know i i don't want to mention now mm. there, 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 there are quite good things happening nice. now mm. so i i as we we speak there are quite good things happening and uh, what does you know to that's mm. a sub. there are quite some nice surprises i've been working on yeah mm. i've been involved by other people okay mm-hmm. Mm, people now who are on another scale than me so they should just look forward for for the new things that are coming yep haya <coughs> sawa before to mm. the hot seat kuna mtu anajiuliza kepsang na sister walifanya courier ikakuwa moto successful mbona doni ngoma ingine bana mbona doni ngoma ingine cuz kama ni like unajua ukifanya kitu na isiweze ndio utasema ah kitu atwezi rudia but ili weza views ili kula kila kitu ili weza mbona tuone ngoma ingine tunajua kirudia kitu saa zote haikuwa kitamu inakujaga tu na 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 na, na, na vibration na get, na, ni kama ni kama ila collab ya sifu bwana ya nyashinski na calligraph uh-huh. yeah. yeah, but ni mbona they are doing another song lakini inamaanisha so pia may pair time lakini kuna kitu si yeah, 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 yes 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 tumeiongelea hata mara mingi but now we just waiting you know uh-huh. for, for for the right time to yeah. to, mm-hmm. to do it mm-hmm. like to kai chini eh uh, unajua atutaki tuharakishe mm-hmm. we, we want to do something which will be better than what we did okay and you know that song was big mm-hmm. and we need to out do it you cannot just rush into a studio na mfanye mm-hmm. if you want to go to do it you need to do it with proper nini with proper planning nice yeah Ah, safi. Thank you so much, bro. Sasa tunataka tuingie hot seat kidogo. Mambo yeah. ichemuke kidogo. <laughs> Sasa kipsang. Mm. Sisi tukimaliza anga tunakoga na segment ya hot seat. Sawa? Yes. So here's the thing. Kitumoto. Kitumoto. Tuta, tutafanya 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 segments mbili ya leo. So <laughs> nakupea chance ufanye impression ya mtu unajua kwa kile yako one thing <laughs> one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing mm. about kipsang is good at impress impressions mm-hmm. so utafanya sound ya mse alafu sisi tutagaze ni nani same thing na noshu mm-hmm. utakupea chance impress au oh. ufanye impression ya mse then tutateka guess same thing na mimi so okay. aya uh, before tukufikie acha tuanze na mse Atuanze na wewe umetupanga sana Tuanze na wewe ndio Eh Eh tuanze na wewe alafu Tafanya impression ni nani Fanya tu Najaribu kufikiria mzee Eh nimeji hapa nani nimeji 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 shika sasa fanya at least tutapata idea Eh what's an ifanya impression ni mtu mtaniambia ni nani <laughs> Sisi <laughs> Sisi kama watu waonela word na hapa jakaranda tunasema <laughs> <laughs> Nataka kuambia Ruto <laughs> What do you think? Ah ni ule jamaa ni simple bana. Ni ule jamaa anaitwa anga anaitwa nani bana? Unajua ukishindwa you'll be next. Imepotea <laughs> bana. Huyu jamaa anakonga pale na ongeane. Okanga. Oh no no. Uru okanga. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Aya wewe sasa. <laughs> Tufanyie yako. Na usitufanyie koma nenye ushai fanya mahali tukajua fanya nyingine. Ye ya. Ye no ye ya. Ah, kama jiji kul ye ya. Ye ya. Bro box de la la. Ay ay. 
Lia eh Dia baru box Ah ya Box tu Unajua mambo ya asani Siku kini wengi sana Asani lazima wajipange Kama mimi yungo na rais Kusema mambo Mambo Ya uki jana naitua Miracle baby Ni mutu wana Mimi ni mpata Mimi ni mpata Ni mpata Ni mpata Nani? Ni buga Si buga Buga ni bulaud Ngoje ngoje Hey hey buga ndele 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 anawafukuza nyumbani One thing ya nus. Ko ya mene ke gurke ake mogot ke gubi gap ko. Amza shiga. Ah let me tell you eh. No mo. Ni very compare no sani chebo chebo college and this other side eh. There's a very huge difference. Ako togu o nos. Togu. Ni nani? Mzi jafe. Mzi mzi jafe. Ame tete wa sari juzi. Ame tete wa sari. Yana fana kazi safi sana. Hati ya ibu wa sari kwa mzi wa sari. Ako na 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 na. Ebe ne utko la. Lakini sauti kilikuwa karibu inaingia kama ya problem. Lakini mle uliongele ishi ya wa sari. Mzi jafe. Mzi jafe. Ulianza aje. Ulianza aje. Kwa kwa ya mge mkote. Ivi. Ivi. Jafe, 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 kima kwa tige, 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 kima Babu Ayo niyo ni hizi Kazi mpuli Kazi mpuli So that's what's up I think meisha man Zandani she Zandani she Yo So tunamaliza I want to dozi to another Another segment of it Ya 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 hot situ tu badu Ay ni sawa Kip sang by the way Tumuliza Badu kwa nana Kip sang Kip sang Kip sang Kwa hot situ Wando kwa kwa hot situ Ni maswali sasa tu ya ni Ni maswali Random So Kip sang Utatuambia Utatuambia something about yourself The mina nosh Tuta Tuta take a guess kama ni ukweli ama ni uongo Something about yourself Unaget? Ok Kitu kama So mina Mtu kama nosh Tho tutajua ni ukweli ya zeme siku njimangi pombe I love to take a guess Unaget something about you Enye we unajua ni ukweli ama ni uongo Okay. Alafu sasa tutateka guess. Aha, <laughs> okay. So when I wake up in the morning I don't drink tea. Uongo bana. Mkali mgana kunywa chai. Ah uongo. Uongo. Aha. Fault. Before kunywa chai ama kama ni ukweli kuna kitu kingine umefanya? No, I I literally don't drink tea in the morning. Ah. I think ni uongo. Ni uongo man. Ni ukweli. What? <laughs> eh, 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 that's a I fun fact. I don't drink tea in the morning. Yeah, I yeah. drink tea in the morning. So asubuhi ukiamka ni hivyo tu? Hakuna maji moto tu. Ai. Ai. Aya. Something mm. else, Sam. Um. I love swimming. You? 
I love swimming. Oh, you love swimming. tukimaliza acha tunda za maswali tusikie tujue kama kipsang ni landed kidogo haya utuambie Capital city ya Ghana. Accra. Ah, ah nice. Wewe kipsang ni top. Eh eh. Ya fen, ni jamaa uko kwa hapo. Ni ogwadogu ama nini? Ogwadogu ama jamena? Ndio. Ni ogwadogu? Ogwadogu. Ah, nice. Aya. Jamena ni. Chad ya. Mm. Akipsa ngocha ni kuna oh, the new president juzi ya wasen ni wasen na gola mna wapi ameelektwa eh. niambie jina yake ako na jina tatu lakini niambie jina yake moja <laughs> ama tuambie tuambie eh, miaka oh ako na miaka ah nice anaitwa Henry or something haya utuambie ya mwisho ya sorry ya mwisho utuambie jina UK prime ni prime minister ya prime minister of UK sunaka Ah, uko sawa bana. Hai, gumbo wasani wamesoma bana. End of your segment imekuwa hot. Tumemaliza. Thank you so much for coming through. That's what's up. Yo, watu wa Australia get your tickets manze kipsanga na kuja. Sherehe yeah. itakuwa kubwa sana. Anakuja na merchandise ya. Merchandise ya Arane. Arane. It color zote red, white, yellow color zote manze. Arane kipsanga analeta merchandise. So anza ku preorder pale kwa DM yake kila kitu. That's what's up. So get ready watu wa Australia. Ndiyo hiyo mambo inaenda kuchemuka sherehe moja hatari sana. Yeah, Thank you so my guys for watching. Remember to subscribe. <coughs> Wacha twende wote road to 10,000 subscribers. That's what's yeah? up man. And uh, I think uh, this time tutakuwa very intentional. Mm-hmm. Tukifika 10k mm-hmm. tunawa ke ile event tulikuwa tumo. Yeah, sawa sawa. That's a promise. That's what's up. So mkitufikisha the sooner mnatufikisha 10k the sooner we we putting up an event bro. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Keep saying social so zako I think ni hivyo tu keep saying. Hivyo tu keep saying everywhere. That's what's up. Bye bye guys. See you next time. Korum.